Hey traders, market starting with a gap up today. Supply, supplies. Anyway, we do find some stocks which are gapping down and should be a good candidate for a gap and go. Like NVX, which is down almost 5%. It's a nice reversal point close to the lows. And I'm about to short 4,000 shares, expecting it to gap and go under the lows. Short now 4,000 shares. Same thing applies for DE. DE is down more than 6%. It's a nice reversal point. It's a big mover. Just 1,000 shares short right here. And again, Again, expecting a continuation, a gap and go. Rostos is my main candidate because it is down 21%. Therefore, I would really like to follow this one down. Shorting now 4,000 shares, taking big risk because it's a multiple point mover. KSS, same idea. The stock is down 5%. As you can see, I find a lot of stocks which are gapping down today. And the same idea applies to KSS. And I'm shorting here 4,000 shares. This one is not such a big mover. Now, as you can see, just the first few minutes of the trading session, I'm already short four different stocks stocks, which is probably the, 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 the most I can do mentally. I can't follow more than four stocks. The best way to follow them is actually watching at my p and list. You can see here that I've got uh, all of them here and um, I'm like green in three and red in one. This would be the easiest way to follow the stocks that I'm trading. But you know, it's just one way of looking at it. And the best way, of course, is taking a good look at each and every one of them. Now I'm about to add to Ross because it's proving to me that it comes down and I just added another 2,000 shares taking a huge risk with this one. DE on the same time just reached my target over $5,000 in profit and I'm going to cover 900 shares and covering right here leaving just 100 shares for the continued run. That was a beautiful trade. KSS also reached my target. I'm short 4,000 shares and I'm going to cover 3,600 and uh, with a profit of $1,700 it just reached my target made a nice downside move. Again not as volatile as the rest. Now it's a turn of NVX reaching my target. I'm up 4 grand which is one point and I'm covering 3,600 shares now leaving 400 shares for the continued move. Now Rostor is giving me some trouble as you can see it's moving up and down but now it's proving to me that it wants to come down because you see it just failed to move higher so I'm about to add another 2,000 shares 8,000 shares short, extreme risk because it could take away all my profit. You see my profit right now is around $8,000 and uh, just over $8,000. And raw stores, which is kind of playing in between green and red, could take it all. Now I'm going to go long Apple here, which is very close to the highs. I'm going to take just 1,000 shares, which should be like fun size. And I'm going long right now. Well, the S&P just kind of moved higher. I'm not sure about the direction anymore. We did start with a gap up, but as you can see, the end result is very bad. Apple just crashed down. If you're wondering why Apple crashed down, well, you know, I just moved out with the loss because of the S&P. Look at the S&P. It tried to move higher several times. It failed. It just crashed down in the direction of closing the gap, came down very strong and um, just took me out of Apple. You know, Apple is following the market. Now take a look at uh, Rostos. It's just not going anywhere. I mean, at a little profit area here, $1,400 or so, and I'm just going to close down this trade. If a stock is not going your way, it's just move out. I just close down ROST. No reason to hold for stock that is not going anywhere. You can see that it just went sideways for a long, long while there. So again, if you have a stock that is not going your way, there's no reason to hold it. And of course, that was a very big high risk trade. And here's my end result. You can see that I have one losing trade today in Apple and the rest are in green. So I just finished over $10,000 today and approximately one hour of trading, which isn't bad. Now, if you like this video, I will appreciate if you give me a like. It helps my channel and helps more people like you uh, get interested and learn more about day trading. And please remember that trading is extremely hard. You're seeing here a successful day. But if you would have watched yesterday's, well, I had a losing day. And the end result for this week, I'm actually down like $8,000. I had a few up days, green days, some losing days. I had a hard week. I don't usually finish in red for the week. It's quite rare, but it does happen. And when it happens, it's like sometimes big money. So please remember the trading is extremely hard and most traders lose money at the beginning of their trading career. And sometimes more than that, just 
less than 10% succeed in trading. Please remember that. Anyway, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button right over here and uh, hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And right here below, you can find a demo link, uh, a link to a demo platform, which is the same platform I'm trading, the Colmex platform, which I believe is the best platform in the world. Seriously, go down here, to the links and just download the demo of Colmex, cost you nothing and you can enjoy the same platform I'm trading and just uh, practice without risking your own hard-earned money. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.